So the Eagles re-sign kicker Jake Elliott, long snapper Rick Lovato. They get two compensatory picks. And then we got Robert Kraft. And what can we say about Robert Kraft? I mean, I, I don't know what else to say except for, you know, this. Robert Kraft, you stinking dope. When you're in jail, don't pick up the soap. Robert Kraft, you old hump. Paying for the truffle shuffle and the old bitch pump. Robert Kraft, you know what I think. The Patriots still stink. Still the cowboy, Mr. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. Scary Cooper, asshole! <laughs> 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 So it's been an interesting Friday, and thank goodness it is Friday. The weekend here, I'm pumped. I love, I need the weekend. So I'm excited about the weekend, and it's been an interesting day for the NFL specifically. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about involving the NFL is the Eagles. The Eagles received two compensatory picks today. They're going to get a fourth-round pick and a sixth-round pick. Now, the fourth-round pick is the 138th pick overall, and the sixth is the 208th pick overall. Now, these picks cannot be traded, I'm pretty sure, but the Eagles will get those two picks from what they lost last year. Now, we've talked about this draft. We've talked about this, and I've said this before. This is such an important draft for the Eagles. The Eagles are, are they're, they're, they're in cap hell. They're going to have to cut guys who are veterans, who are older, who are big cap hits, and they have to be able to replace them with something. We need at least two starters out of this draft. If we don't get at least two stars out of this draft, I think that's bad for us. We need to get two guys that could come in and play. We need guys on rookie contracts. We need to get a little younger. And we got to hit on this. Joe Douglas, Howie Roseman, they got to be on their A game for this draft. Now, we have the, a first round pick. We have two second round picks. We have a th we have two fourth round picks. No third round pick because we traded that in a Golden Tate. So we got first, two twos, two fours, a fifth, and two sixes. I expect maybe a third round pick to come out of uh, this whole full situation. And I, I think we'll have more picks when we're all said and done. I think we have eight total right now. And these picks are going to be important. But two compensatory picks, hey, that gives us more chances to get the right guy. And I'll take it. Okay, so as I'm doing this video, I'm seeing some things come over the wire right now. Uh, Eagles re-sign kicker Jake Elliott. They re-sign long snapper Rick Lovato, and they just cut Chris Maragos. Now, Chris Maragos is going to save them, I believe, 1.9 million, something like that, under the cap. I'm not sure of what El Elliott and Lovato are getting, but it can't be that much. Um, but so that's what's going on with the Eagles as we're doing this video right now. Let's talk about Robert Kraft and getting caught doing old truffle shuffle on his piss pump, right? Now, first thing I have to say is, as always, when we talk about allegations or somebody arrests or anything from Zeke Elliott to Michael Bennett to Robert Kraft to anybody, they're innocent until proven guilty in my eyes. I don't make any judgment. They're innocent until it's proven guilty. But Robert Kraft was caught in, I guess, soliciting prostitution and he was caught up in a sex trafficking ring. Now, what does this mean for him, the Patriots, the NFL? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be real honest. It means absolutely nothing, nothing. The only thing it is, is public shame for him, for the team, for the NFL. That's it, that's it. I think at most he faces one year in jail. That will never happen. Guy with his money, his or he will never do one day in jail for that. And most people probably wouldn't. It's not, it's going to be a slap on the wrist, okay? Now, if he was caught up in actually being part of the trafficking ring and making money in that, and if something like that came out, then, then he should go to jail for the rest of his life as far as I'm concerned, okay? Since 2006, we're getting a little bit of conspiracy theory here. I'll give you a little something, right? Something to mess around with. 2016, Okay, from 2016 on, there's been more arrests in child sex trafficking, people trafficking. Uh, there's been more arrests 
than probably in the history of our country. There's been so many arrests since 2016, and it's only going to continue. You are going to see bigger, bigger names being arrested. You're going to see politicians getting in trouble. It's all it's all going to come out, okay? And and there's been a lot of these operations, and a lot of these been busted, and they've been saving kids, and it, it, it's crazy stuff. If you're really interested in this, you want to learn more about it, I suggest... Look up uh, Epstein Island. Look up Epstein Island and look up and read about. He basically he was this this guy he liked kids and he would go to his own like island. But the CIA would inf was infiltrated and they worked with him and he was an informant I think. And basically what happened is they would go in the CIA and they would set up all these recordings and stuff like that. And they would bring politicians there. They would do God knows whatever. They would get stuff on them. Then they go to the politicians. Doesn't matter if they're Republican, Democrat, whoever it is, okay? And then they basically use it for blackmail. And this has been going on. This is all. This all will come out. You can also look at the Wicked uh, WikiLeaks. Go look at the files. Go look at um, Podesta emails, and you can see him specifically talking about these kind of things. This is a billion dollar business. There's big people are involved in it, and that's really where the story is. And these rings and the government, they're trying to break these things up. So. A lot of this kind of stuff is going to come out, get used to it. But as far as Robert Kraft, it's good to make fun, laugh at him, laugh at the Patriots. It's publicly shameful. But in the end, I'm telling you, two, three months, everybody will forget about it. And uh, it's not going to be a big deal. Um, that's just the truth. These guys that have all that money, they do, this is what they do. This is what they do. I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. But a lot of these guys, that's what they do. It's no big deal for them. So, you know, it is what it is. But... Tell me what you think. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.